Hi everyone, if you're new here, welcome to Aussie English with Amanda. And if you're returning, welcome back to Aussie English with Amanda. I'm Amanda and I share videos about Australian English, Australian accent tips and tricks, slang, and just things you might not know about Australia. Today, I wanna to talk about one of the most important, yet one of the most confusing vowel sounds in Australian English, the schwa sound. It's especially important if you want to sound more natural when speaking English. We're going to look at how to replace any short vowel sound with the schwa sound and how to use it interchangeably in connected speech to have a smoother transition between words in a sentence. So let's get started. Understanding the schwa sound can be a little bit tricky because any vowel or combination of vowel can sound like a schwa. English, being non-phonetic, doesn't visually represent this sound in its written form. However, to those familiar with the phonetic alphabet, you'll recognize it as this little upside down E here. And for the rest of the video, you'll see me referring to this as this sound here. The schwa sound is a short interchangeable vowel sound that can replace any of the short vowels. So A, E, I, O, U. It's a relaxed neutral sound often used unconsciously by native speakers or by those comfortable in their own accent or dialect. It's produced when the tongue and jaw are in a neutral or resting position and it's usually in unstressed syllables. Vowel reduction or the use of the schwa sound plays a really significant role in Australian English connected speech. In this variety of English, unstressed vowels tend to be pronounced as schwa, particularly in word final and syllable final positions. It can also replace some vowel sounds in certain words. This reduction of unstressed vowels helps contribute to the really kind of natural rhythm and flow of Australian English. It sounds like a really lazy, unstressed uh sound and is extremely common when other dialects of English would use the R sound. So I want you to follow along with me. Completely relax your jaw. If you have to open your mouth really wide and then just release it. I want your jaw and tongue to be in a natural resting position. Not open, closed. Now you just want to make an uh sound, not an ah, uh, we're not opening our mouth and stressing that vowel. Relax the jaw and mouth. Uh. My mouth opens just slightly. Uh. See how my jaw isn't moving at all. Uh. That's the schwa sound. All these words have the schwa sound when spoken and mastering this sound is crucial. It will help to enhance your English pronunciation, making you sound more natural, relaxed and fluent like a native English speaker. Let's have a look at them. About, about, pronunciation breakdown is here. About, item, 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 person, 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 farmer, 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 banana. Banana. So this has two. B -na, na. A really common question I get as a teacher is when should I use a short vowel sound and when should I use the schwa sound? So in English, when words or syllables aren't stressed, the sound gets reduced, and that's when the vowel letter often reduces to a schwa sound. Multi-syllable words in English, so words with more than one syllable, they typically have one primary stress and the other syllables, when unstressed, turn into the schwa sound. Now this is English, so there are some exceptions to the rule, but it's a really good rule to kind of go off, um, generally speaking. As another general rule of thumb, every syllable has to have a vowel sound. And if you can't hear the stressed vowel sound, then that's probably the schwa. Let's have a look at this example, crocodile, three syllables, Crocodile. First vowel sound here, cro, o, short o sound, o. K, dial. This is a diphthong, so it's still a vowel sound. Isle, isle. Crocodile. Here in the middle, well, I should say here. O, i, o, i. Here in the middle, we don't say cro, co dial or crocodile, 
Because we can't hear this sound when we say the word crocodile, that's where the schwa sound most likely is, and it is here. You can see we have the upside down E and the UH, crocodile. The next word, lesson. Two syllables, lesson. The first vowel sound in the first syllable is an E, short E, the same that's in egg, E. But we don't really say the vowel sound in the second syllable. We don't say lesson, lesson. We say lesson, n. So you can see here, schwa sound, schwa sound, lesson. Now let's explore how the schwa sound substitutes for each vowel. First, we have the short A. A head, a head. About, about, about. Salad, salad, salad. Okay, for the short E, the first word is elephant. Three syllables, two schwa sounds. Elephant, elephant. Second word, seven. Seven, seven. And the third word, mother. Ma, the. Ma, the. So we have schwa sounds here. Next, we have the short I sound. So all of these have similar endings and the schwa is at the end of all of them. The first word, benefit, actually has two schwa sounds because it's three syllables. Benefit, benefit. Next one, limit, limit, limit. And the third one, profit, profit, profit. Now we have the short O sound. The first word, connect, will sound like connect. The next one, motor, motor. I use a T flap, so I say motor, but motor, motor. Today, today, today. And finally, we have the short U. So for the first word, album, album. Album. The next one is a bit tricky because we've got a silent letter at the end, N. So we just say autumn, autumn, autumn. The last one, column, column, column. Now, let's have a look how changing a vowel sound into a schwa sound can help with connected speech. If you see these words here, all of these we can actually pronounce with the short vowel sound and with the schwa sound. You or ye, your, ye, into, inter, to, te, the, the. So basically we change the short vowel into a schwa sound when the following word starts with a consonant. We'll try them in some sentences. Let's look at this first sentence. Are you finished with your homework? If we pronounce this word by word, it sounds very mechanical and very robotic. So to make it sound more natural and native, we'll substitute the short vowel sound with a schwa sound. So as an example, I've changed you to ye and your to ye. Are you finished with your homework? Are you finished with your homework? said quickly. Are you finished with your homework? For this next one, same as before, I've substituted your with your. Yeah. So instead of saying, what's your name? We say, what's your name? What's your name? An easy way to try and practice this as well, if you're trying to link them together, is just practice this sound first and then connect it to the next word, yeah. Your, your name, your name, what's your name? And then add the last word in after that. What's your name? 
This sentence is a little bit longer, but I wanted to show you as well the difference when we use contractions. So if I was to say this sentence word for word, I am really into Netflix shows these days. Again, very robotic, very mechanical, but I've combined these two into a contraction to say I'm really into using the schwa sound here. I'm really into Netflix shows these days. Again, if you want to practice, just try these two together first. Into, into Netflix, into Netflix. I'm really into Netflix shows these days. And the last example, we are going to the beach. Same as before, I've taken this and turned it into a contraction. This is actually really easy to say. It's just the same pronunciation as where. So don't be scared to try and use contractions because they're actually quite easy and it's another way to help you sound more natural and native. So we're going to the beach. Practice these two together. It's much easier. T, the, t, the, t, the beach. Link it with this then. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. So that's it. That's the Aussie schwa sound. I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more Aussie English content. I do have plans to be bringing more Aussie English content just like this and you don't want to miss out. So I'll see you next time. Notice how I said, yeah, I'll see you next time.